with another edition of Johnny Stocks 212. Other people trying to sell you something. I'm just here to find those A winners. Go getters. Trend setting companies to invest in. Thank you for joining me wherever you may be. We got a great show for you today. Today we're talking about Rigel Pharmaceuticals. Please read the disclaimer on your own time. So Rigel Pharmaceuticals, they are, I'm really excited about them. They are looking to tackle some really tough uh, disorders, cancers, rare immune disease, uh, hematological disorders, and they have some small mo uh, novel molecule um, drugs that already been approved, and they are got some stuff in the, uh, trying to add indications for that medication and some other medications, potential medications in the pipeline, So, which is pretty exciting. So let's look at the leadership team. CEO is Paul Raul R. Rodriguez. CEO and president, um, definitely high quality management team. You know, I'm a big fan of companies with outstanding leadership teams. Uh, they have a big, he's the uh, Raul, Raul Rodriguez, heard a bunch of interviews. Um, he's definitely, you know, he's been with the company for quite a long time before. I think since 2014, he's been the chief operating officer, you know, got pr promoted to the CEO. Um, so one of the reasons I got excited about this company is they have already a medication that's, um, Two that are approved. Uh, one of them is fostamidinib, uh, talavilis for adult chronic immune thrombocytopenia. It's a spleen. It targets a spleen tyrosine kinase, and it's actually got. What I like about this is I love to see medications where it gets approved, and then they're adding, uh, go, you know, paying for clinical trials to add indications because that means. You know, during the original clinical trial, they saw good data, looks good that it, you know, can treat maybe potentially different indications. That's always a positive sign. Uh, the other medication that they have approved um, is Resolida Olastizinib, uh, which is for acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, so let's, so what the, the other candidate, there's another candidate uh, medication that hasn't been approved yet in clinical trials. Um, so the tal of Elise, that one there, it's already been approved. They're adding indications, you know, well, hopefully they'll be able to add the indications if it is the phase three trials are successful, but they have another candidate R289, uh, which is an oral, uh, selective inhibitor of interleukin, uh, associated kinase one and four. For short, they'll call it, uh, you'll sometimes see referred to as R-A-C-K-1 and 4. And all that is, is all, all that means is just inhibitor of interleukin receptor associated kinase. So usually you want uh, a lot of uh, potential companies will look for things that will block those cytokine, cytokine productions uh, or toll-like receptors, uh, interleukin 1 receptor, uh, TLRs or ILRs, you'll see them say, because they play a critical role in the innate immune response. And anytime those can get dysregulations, it can lead to a lot of different inflammatory conditions. You'll see issues with patients will have psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease. Um, it's also thought that uh, if they chronic stimulation of those receptors can be behind maybe potentially bone marrow pro-inflammatory environments. Um, so that's so this medication looks pretty good. Now it's only preclinical studies that they've uh, demonstrated that activity uh, in animal models to be helpful in inflammatory diseases, being able to inhibit those IR, IRAK1 and 4. Um, so if they can, you know, if, if the uh, studies come back positive, they're in phase one sh studies, uh, you know, proof of mechanism of action, you know, uh, you know, safety profile. Uh, that could be really exciting stuff. So let's look at that pipeline here. Um, so here is the, let's zoom in here. This is the, let me go back to that slide here. Here's the fostilinib. This one's already been approved. Now these are the two indications. Uh, so warm antibody, AIHA. Uh, this medication's already been approved, but they're looking for different indication, phase three study. Here's that R289 uh, for immune disease. Now, this one's only in phase one studies. They also have some partner programs that look uh, pretty good and exciting. 
So they have quite a big pipeline. Um, let's take a look at the stock price, stock symbol for Rigel Pharmaceuticals, R-I-G-L. R-I-G-L is the stock symbol. Rigel Pharmaceuticals, at the time of the video, it's trading at 67 cents. You know, I do think there's a lot of opportunity here. I mean, definitely big risk, a lot of reward, though, potentially. Um, got a nice pipeline, potential therapies. Uh, I'm going to have to continue to monitor this company. Uh, you know, that's all the time I have for this video. Um, if you did enjoy this video and the content I'm creating, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. It helps the channel grow and continue to monitor this company. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.